How's it going, folks? A little bit of an intro for this week's clip. Uh, first off, I would like to thank you all very much for getting us over the 300,000 subscriber mark. I, you know, it, it blows my mind that um, this little channel that I started out just to show friends what I was doing and then uh, posting a couple of little how-tos and helpful guides has um, become what it is. Um, yeah, so it's one of those things. Decided to make YouTube just to keep myself busy. Being a stay-at-home dad, um, we home educate our kids and now it's um, reached the level as it has. So uh, I'm very, very grateful for having this opportunity. Um, and yeah, it just still boggles my mind that we've got this far. Um, so thank you very much, folks. And to all you guys who've been um, following us and gals who've been following us for years, um, g'day and thanks for sticking around for so long. I really do enjoy chatting to you in the comments section when I get the time. Been a bit busy over the last week or so, but yeah, I should be back to it very soon. Uh, which brings me to today's video. Uh, today's video is one that I shot for our supporters the other day after we got back from a little bit of a three day break down in Yamba in New South Wales. Uh, the reason there is no video this week and possibly next week is because we're helping some family members who need a bit of a hand to clear out a shed um, because the property is basically being sold and they need to get their gear out of their ASAP and it is uh, yeah, a uh, pretty involved um, um, clearing job that we will be carrying out over the next couple of weeks. So um, I'm going to be tied, tied up doing that plus what I do through the week. So there won't be any standalone clip this week, just this um, supporters one, just to bring you up to speed on what we've been up to. And um, next week I'll try and shoot something through the week if I have some time. Um, but, you know, fingers crossed I'll be able to get to it. If not though, um, I might have another bit of a break or cobble together some supporters videos and um, post them as well. So yeah, I do hope you enjoy this little bit of a catch up video and um, I'll catch you at the end. How's it going folks? Thought I'd do a little bit of an update. Uh, now we're back from the coast. Uh, just to let you know, if you didn't see the other post, we went down to Yamba on the north coast of New South Wales. Fantastic spot right on the mouth of the Clarence River. And we spent most of our time um, either walking around the foreshore, uh, the big rock walls they have going out into the ocean, or on the headlands right at Yamba Point under the lighthouse. And the rest of the time, yeah, we pretty much all just spent at the foreshore at Yamba. So I had a lot of time to uh, think while we were staring out into the ocean, uh, watching the dolphins play. So I've come up with a few ideas just to try and streamline what I do. Not so much YouTube, uh, but all the, the sales end of stuff and helping people buy emails. Um, when they want to water uh, Uniseal. So I'm looking at setting up a new website that everything on my ba Bits Out The Back website will be migrated over to um, on Spotify. Oh, sorry, Shopify, not Spotify, Shopify. And I'll also be able to do blog posts and also other pages there, move all them over. So it'll have the same URL, so no one will know any different except for you folks, because I've told you. Um, and all that hopefully will be finished uh, by the time all the beds and everything is sorted out here after the landscaping. Um, so I can do yeah a little bit of a, a clip on what we're doing around the garden, announcing the new uh, website and store and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, there's just a little bit of where we're up to ourselves personally. Um, now I'll swap the camera around and um, yeah, give you a bit of a gander at what B and I have done since we got back. Not a lot, but yeah, a few bits and pieces. So as you know, I have mentioned many a times, I'm waiting until all the landscaping's done before I muck around with uh, pulling these garden beds down and building them back up again. Uh, we're still on track for the end of May, so we've been told. Uh, Bianca suggested that I start planning out bits and pieces in these two round tubs, but I, I seriously just want to get the landscaping done, get the new bed set up the way I want them set up, and just start again. I don't want to have to plant out and then um, wait for them to finish, and yeah, I pretty much all just want to hook straight into it as soon as the landscaping's done. So not a lot's gone on there, but what I have done is set up a new little hydro station, uh, hydroponics using Cracky and the rock-filled tubs. So it was really easy to level it off and um, yeah, just basically dumped in 17 and a half litres uh, of uh, nutrient solution in there. We used the same A and B we've been using for a while and topped it up with a little bit of aquaponics water. Made sure the pH was nice and low. I think it was down around about 6.3. And Bianca and I seeded out the uh, little neck cups there with some bok choy. And the idea is to get these to grow to round about, oh, probably true leaves, oh, two inches maybe 50 mil and then we're going to sew out the next one there and we do have a third tub 
that will go there so we'll have a rotational uh, what i did notice last time is we had some that grew a lot faster than the others in these systems so the idea is to have um, three stages of growth going and when and within each tub we're going to be able to knock off a couple of the small ones every week uh, it would be nice to have a lot more of that this set up um, but yeah just push for room at the moment i might actually move these around a little bit later um, I might set up the other two over here, move these pouches away uh, because as you can see it gets a little bit more sunlight there and we're just after, what is it, just after 1.30 here in the afternoon um, so yeah, I might move them here, we'll just wait and see those little pouches, the pineapples and whatnot, they can move down there easy enough so that's what we've got up to here so looking forward to them coming on uh, also playing around with the aquaponics so just over here at the aquaponics, and these tomatoes are coming on nicely. Uh, the plant is actually doing really well. So we had a bit of an idea. I think I've mentioned it to you folks before. Um, Bianca suggested that we set up this little trestle here, or trellis I should say. Uh, what we're going to do is have it, um, the end of it butted up against the top of the grow bed there, and then on a bit of an angle up to these posts, and then pick up as many of these branches as we can without breaking them and try to get them to grow on top of that little um, trellis there. Uh, the sweet potato will be coming out. I uh, haven't got around to it yet. I did start some slips off, but they got a little bit manky in the water. Um, so I ditched them. Uh, but what I'm thinking of doing is just popping some in a pouch at the base here. And yeah, I'm, actually I'm, that's probably not a good idea because I need to remove that retaining wall. Um, yeah, so a bit of a loss of where I'm going to stick these guys at the moment. Nowhere out the front is safe. Nowhere down the other side of the house gets enough sun. Just up this side of the house isn't a very good idea either because the workers will be walking backwards and forwards up through there. They might even be able to fit a bobcat um, through there. So yeah, um, I might just try and pop some in a pouch and just, um, I don't know, maybe pop them just down over there behind the um, lemongrass and let them grow over the wood chip and see how they go. So that's what I will be doing tomorrow. I was going to hook into it this afternoon, but I've got to run off and get some post packs um, for the international shipping on the nutcrackers uh, because I've run out. So um, just going to run upstairs, edit this, uh, shoot out to Archerfield and do that and got some other family bits to do. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of a look at what we're up to. And hopefully I'll have a bit of a video out this weekend um, showing that little setup there. So I figure I might as well give you a bit of a quick look at the system as it stands just at the end here as you can see the fish are pretty sleepy at the moment and that is because the water temperature has dropped quite a bit now we're in autumn. Uh, just to give you an idea on the temperature range we're looking at we're at 18 degrees celsius so generally speaking these jade perch um, they stop metabolizing feed at around about 18 degrees and as you can see they're not exactly very active um, so they won't get a feed today um, later on probably this afternoon if we get back from the shedding time and the water temperature goes up to around about 21 degrees um, we might toss a few pellets in there but there's no point feeding them if they're not going to metabolize it I'll just give you a bit of a quick overview of the growth as you can see from last week that Chinese cabbage is bolting Oh, not bolting to uh, seed that is it's just growing really well uh, as are the beets here and the other brassicas uh, we did have a little bit of an iron deficiency um, you can tell because there's chlorosis on the newer leaves um, but as you can see from this brand new leaf there's no chlorosis there at all or yellowing i popped in a couple of um, teaspoons of the chelated iron dtpa and that pretty much will look after that uh, but the plants are doing really well i'm really impressed with the growth and I have been spraying with Dipol um, because I can't net these plants. Uh, Dipol is the Bacillus thuringiensis spray. As you folks who follow me already know, that's what we like to use. And um, due to the rain over the last week or so while we're away, I really do need to spray them again. Uh, the last couple of days, just as I've had time, I've been um, giving them the squish. I generally do a once over of the system every time I come down and feed the fish. So. There you go, there's a little bit of an update. Uh, once again, I would really like to thank you all for coming along and sussing out these videos. And fingers crossed we'll be back at it in a couple of weeks time with some very informative clips, um, hopefully on bell siphon siphons and also some little netting jobs I'm doing down the back to keep the butterflies away from these plants. Uh, special thanks to all you folks who are supporting us over on the Farm Your Own Yard page and also the YouTube membership site. Thank you very much, folks. Well, I'm gonna leave it there. Gotta put the work clothes on and get cracking. 
Hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll catch you later. Cheers, folks.